Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inspires me words and the reason for the deliverance in the day of Qiyamah from the fire of Jahannam and I have read an ayat from the Quran and elaborated on this ayat I want you to add on the topic of from the previous week that Imam Saab was speaking about so I want you to add it on and on the following ayat I want you to explain to you a couple of things that today in our society that we are lacking today we are exerting we are experting we are we are exerting we are expelling and exerting in our rituals effort for example in our salah in our hajj in our zakat all these but this one thing that we, as a society we are lacking is is ukhuwatu fid din and ukhuwatu fid din brotherhood in islam was the first and formal thing that rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam implemented in madinah al munawwara this was the first thing brotherhood that rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam implemented in madinah al munawwara i was mentioning this hadith in bukhari that the companions of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam that was the muhajirin who migrated to Madinah to Munawwara amongst them was a great companion as you know Abdul Rahman ibn Aw and Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam what he done what he established it was so amazing it was so amazing that it comes in a hadith like this that Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said that this companion and this companion they are brothers from today now and this companion and this brother companion they are brothers from today now so rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam abdul rahman and saad ibn rabi he made them both brothers and saad ibn rabi he gave half of his wealth to abdul rahman ibn auf but even though abdul rahman ibn auf he rejected it and he did not take it what did he say in reply he said barakallahu lak may allah give you prosperity and barakat please just show me the market show me where is the market this was the word of abdul rahman Ibn Auf because he had some sort of a dignity he had his own dignity that's why he didn't want to take the wealth of Saad ibn Rabi 
So this was the first thing that Rasulullah implemented in Madinah al Munawwar. Now let's look in the eyes of the Quran and what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about, Ukhuwatu and brotherhood in Islam. Allah Ta'ala says in the Quran, in Surah Al Ali Imran, He says, Allah says, Hold firmly upon the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, wala tafarraku. Do not disperse. Do not dispute, do not become sects and groups. Today, we, we, today, unfortunately, we have to say, I have to say, that today, when I go in the streets, or in the masjid, he says that this brother, he's a Kurdish, he's a Bengali, he's a Pakistani, he's an Indian, or oh, Kurdish, they're all rubbish, or oh, Bengali, they're all rubbish, or oh, Pakistani, they're all rubbish. Na'udhu billahi minza. Brothers, these are the things that is breaking the society. These are the things that is breaking the community, brothers. Look, in the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa there's two things. There's two things. One is called Watani and one is called Qawmi. One is called Nationalism, Qawmi. And one is called Watani. One is called Tribalism. And Nationalism and Tribalism has no base in religion. Nationalism, listen to this very carefully, brothers. Nationalism, Tribalism has no base, no foundation in the deen of Islam. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, whoever makes effort and fights his last breath for nationalism or tribalism, he is not amongst us. He's not amongst my ummah. He's not amongst my ummah. So what are we brothers claiming for? What are we brothers are picking our fingers upon our Muslim brothers? What are we doing brothers? This is breaking the society. This is not making the ummah as one. We are one ummah. One ummah, one Quran. And one Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa so Allah says, وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا وَذْكُرُوا Then remember, Allah says, remember those times, at that time, Allah Ta'ala is reminding the companions where in Madinah al Munawwara, before the migration of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to Madinah al Munawwara, amongst the companions and before their pre-era, there was a lot of fight and expeditions and fights and quarrel. They were not united. After when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to Madinah al-Munawara, Allah ta'ala fa'allafa bayna qulubikum fa'asbahtum bini'mati ikhwana. Allah says that we have consigned, we have brought that affection, we have put that love, it, we have put that love and affection in your heart, and then you wake up in the morning, fa'asbahtum bini'mati ikhwana, that you are all one brothers. This is the ni'mah, this is the thing that today the ummah is lacking. All around the world, I can say, brothers, in the Arab world, in the Bengali world, in the whatever world you are saying, because there's too many sects and groups, everyone is battering behind everyone. Everyone is behind everyone's, let me say, everyone's backside, yeah? So this is what's happening, that today the Ummah is not able to unite, to come on one plate, one table, that we are one Muslim. This is the thing. The brothers, Allah Ta'ala clearly he says that if you do this, then Allah's Rahmah, Allah's aid and Allah's help will move away from you as a community and a society. In the battlefield, just imagine, Allah says, Allah says, do not dispute. Do not, do not dispute, do not quarrel, do not fight. If you dispute and fight, what will happen? Allah's aid and strength and mother, Allah's help will remove from you. You will see that there will be no nusra and rahma and mercy upon you from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah is with, one, with those people who are amongst the sabirin, who are patient. So this is the thing, the couple of things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying in the ayat of the Quran. Now let's look in the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in various angles. Throughout the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Al-mu'minu bil-mu'min kal-bunyani yashudda ba'duhum ba'da. A mu'min to another mu'min is like a structure, is like a building, in structure. Now you just imagine, if you took one line of the bricks out, what happens? The whole building, the whole structure is fallen down. So it's like this, a mu'min to another mu'min, a Muslim to another Muslim. It's like a brother, like a structure, like a building. You cannot move one brick. If you move one brick, the whole structure falls down. So this is what happens when we disunite, when we dispute amongst ourselves. Then what will happen? They will become fitna. Fitna tuna arid wa fasadun kabir. Allah says that there will be a fitna in the, in the community. There will be fitna in the society. There will be fitna in the society. So we should not dispute. We should 
not argue, we should not quarrel. This is the thing Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said. Another thing Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa says, he says, Al-Muslimu, Akhul Muslim. A Muslim is a brother of a Muslim. La yadlimuhu. He does not transgress. He does not do unjust to his brother. A husband does not do unjust to his wife. A wife does not do unjust to his husband. The brother does not do unjust to his smaller brother, or the small brother does not do unjust to his elder brother. The worker does not do unjust to his owner, and the owner does not do unjust to the person, the laborer who's working under his supervision. So, la yadrimu is a very broad meaning. Wala yahkiru, and no one does not look down upon anyone. You don't look at anyone that, look, I am so and so, I got this degree, and blah blah blah, I got all this. What is he? What, what qualification does he have? La'udhu billah. La yahkiru. We are all Muslim. What does he have in his bosom? What does he have in his heart? He has La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. He has La ilaha illallah which will make him go to Jannah. So, La yahkiruhu. Wa la yahzuluhu. You don't humiliate your brother. Rasulullah says, and then he says, Bi hasbi imri imri shar. An yahkura akhahu. An yahkura akhahu. That is sufficient for a person to do evil. That he makes his brother look down. He makes his brother look down. He points his finger at his brother. He says, Who are you to do? Who are you to do? Who are you in the society? You don't have no fame. You don't have no work. You don't have no right to speak in the community. You don't have no right to speak in front of us. Who are you? So these things, that, these are things that is sufficient that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says that to do tahqeer, to do humiliate your Muslim brother. Then Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says that كل مسلم على المسلم حرام دمه وماله وعرضه Every Muslim upon another Muslim, they are become haram. What does it mean? That you cannot, you cannot destroy the honor, the dignity, the wealth of any Muslim. You cannot destroy, listen to this brother very carefully, the wealth, the honor, the dignity of any Muslim. Every Muslim is dignified in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Every Muslim, every mu'min, every ikhwan al muslimin are dignified in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you will realize this, I will explain to you this. How? Allah Ta'ala says in the Quran, Al-Akhillau Yawma Idin Ba'duhum li Ba'din illa al muttaqin Every friend will become an enemy in the day of Qiyamah. But Allah says, illa al muttaqin except for the pious. Allah says, except for the pious. Why? Because the pious, the scholars have written, Istaksiru min ashabi salihina fa innahum yanfa'una yawm al Qiyamah. That you should make, you should be associating with good and pious people. Because they will benefit you in the day of Qiyamah, subhanAllah. They will benefit you in the day of, day of Qiyamah. Istaksiru minhum fa innahum yanfa'un. That increase brotherhood, increase good relation with your brother, your Muslim brother, because this will benefit you in the day of Qiyamah. Then he was questioned, Kayfa yanfa'un? Kayfa yanfa'un? Qal al Hassan Basri. Hassan Basri. He gave a jawab. He gave a, he gave a jawab. He gave an answer. He said, Bainana. A people in Jannah of Jannah, they will be in Jannah. Is Tazakaru Ashabun fi dunya wa ahwalun fi dunya. He will be in Jannah and suddenly he will remember his friend. For example, Abdullah. Abdullah, my best friend. Yeah? For example. Or Abdul Karim. Abdul Rahman. Or whatever. Or all these brothers here. He suddenly remember his friend. Oh, my friend. I used to be with him. I used to pray salah with him. I used to come to Masjid. We used to read Quran together. I don't see him in Jannah today. Where is he? Where is he? Is tadakaru ashabahum? He will say, Where is he? Where is my friend? I don't see him today. Fayuqal, fayakulu qa'ilhum. Ma fa'ala sadiqi. He will say that, Where is my friend? Ma arahu fil jannah. I don't see him in jannah today. Fayuqalu huwa fil nah. It will be said that he's going to jahannam. He's in jahannam. Fayakul. And in reply to this, he will get up and he will say, Fayakul. Fayakul al mu'min. And that mu'min will say, Ya Rabbi, la taktamilu. Lazati fil jannati illa ila kana ma'i sadiqi fulan. Oh Allah, that my jannah, my bliss of jannah and the lazat of jannah will be not to perfection if my friend so and so is not with me. If my friend so and so is not with me. Fayyqal, Fayyamur subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah ta'ala will order, he will say, Fayyukhuruj sadiqu min al nar ila al jannah, la li adani amani salih. Allah ta'ala will order that. Take out so and so out of Jannah, out of Jannah, not because of any good deed. It will be said, La min qiyam in layl, wala min siyam in nahar, wala qirat in Quran. Not because of he was doing tahajjud or qiyam in layl, not because of he was fasting throughout the day, not because he was reading Quran. Wa inna ma shafa'na sadiqahu, that his friend will intercede behalf of him. In reply to this, Fayakul ahalun dar. 
فيقول أهل النار the people of the dwellers of Jahannam they will say عجباً they will say how astonishing today من شفع له who has interceded for this brother who had interceded for him أبوه الشهيد is his brother is his brother a شهيد أخوه الشهيد is his is his brother a شهيد is his father a شهيد فيقالوا له لا شفع له الأنبياء الملائكة الأنبياء did the ملائكة did the أنبياء do شفاعة for him did they intercede behalf of him behalf of him فيقالوا لا وإنما شفع له صديقه no they will say no that his friend his intimate friend his best friend has interceded for him in the day of Qiyamah today. And in reply to this, the person of Jahannam, he will say, he will say, and it's the ayat of the Quran, it's in the ayat of the Quran, Surah Al-Shu'ara, he will say, فَمَا لَنَا مِنْ شَافِعٍ وَلَا صَدِيقِ الْحَمِينَ he will say, فَلَوْ أَنَّ لَنَا كَرَّةً فَنَكُونَ مِنَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ Today, I don't have a friend today. I don't have a friend today, a close friend today, who can intercede behalf of me today to save me from the fire of Jahannam. I wish, I wish I had a second chance. I wish I had another chance to come back to the dunya and to give another chance to reconcile and get another friend in dunya. I wish I came back to the dunya and found and looked for the salihin and the best friends who can save me from the fire of Jahannam. So brother, so being ukhuwah to fit deen, I was explaining brothers that they become beneficial not for just in dunya as well as it becomes beneficial in akhirah as well. So brothers, the, the, the last thing is, there's a couple of more things I wanted to say, my time is very short. The first thing is that we need to make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah purify our heart. The sahabas, the companions, they were from different sex, different, different country, different ethnic, Abu Dhar Al Ghaffari, Salman Farsi from Persia, Anas from different different Hazrat Hamza, he was Arab, Hazrat Bilal, he was Habshi. But when you can see the companions, their heart was united, brothers. The Ummah's heart used to be. We need our hearts to be united, and you have to make dua to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala through Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam teaches Allah Ma Alif, O Allah, Alif Bayna Qulubina, O Allah, bring affection and love between our hearts. وَأَسْلِحْ ذَاتَ بَيْنِنَا O Allah, reconcile between us because this unity is the worst thing that can happen in a community. This unity can be the worst thing that can happen in the Ummah. Some people think that these, we Muslims are worse than non-believers. نَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ This is wrong. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says that الْمُسْلِمُ خَيْرٌ أَنْ يَسْبِرَ عَذَا الْمُسْلِمِ خَيْرٌ مِنَ الْمُسْلِمِ أَنْ لَا يَسْبِرُ عَذَا that Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, a Muslim who stays within his community or with his Ummah is better than a person who does not stay with the Ummah, does not stay with the community, stay as a whole and he does not be patient upon what a Muslim brother fellow does. So brothers, Ikhwan al-Muslimin, brotherhood, this is the thing that we are lacking and we have to understand brothers. This was the first thing that Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam established in Madinat Munawwara. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala give me a new tawfiq to understand and from our heart to learn how to forgive each other and reconcile and Allah Ta'ala join our hearts and make us one Ummah like the way Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam spent the moments with the time of the Sahara.